this tutorial we'll talk about the attribute bull and selection tools. Go ahead and open cities layer. In this map every point represents the location of the city in United States. But there is more information about that point. The point is just the geometrical information. The attribute information about this is available in the attribute table. Click cities, uh, right click cities and open the attribute tables. In this table each row represents a location on the map. For example if you select a row you will see the corresponding city selected which in this case is Stock Island in the state of Florida. Using the control key and then clicking you can select multiple uh, cities in this way. The columns of this table represent different attributes of the given city. For example, the, uh, the first column which is the object ID gives a unique identification number to uh, each city. The shape column tells what is the type of feature, in this case point. Then we have the name of the city under name uh, and the range of the population and the population during the year 2000, so on and so forth. You can also select the features in a feature class based upon some value of their attribute. For example, uh, suppose we want to select all the cities that have population greater than half million. In order to do that, um, go to Table Options and clear everything. Then go back and select by attributes. In this dialog, you can create a new selection or add to a current selection. You can create a query based upon any attribute. In, the, in our case, we'll select population in 2000. After you double click population 2000, you will see that it appears in the query. Um, now there are several mathematical functions that we can use. In our case, we'll use greater than or equal to and then we put half million. Um, so this is what we are saying. Select from cities where population in 2000 is greater than or equal to 500,000. Once you apply, you will see that all the cities that uh, follow this condition are selected. Now if you want to see the other relevant information about these cities, you can go down in the attribute table and click show selected records only. And notice how in the attribute table you will only see the cities that have been selected uh, with the condition of population greater than half million. Now once we have selected these cities, we can save this as a new layer. So go to cities layer in the table of contents, right click, go to selection and in the selection menu find create layer from selected features and let's uh, uh, click that and you see that it, it has created city selection go ahead and rename uh, the name of the layer and turn off the other layer and you can see that only the selected cities are shown Add the states layer to put a background. Open the properties of the new cities layer and add the labels. Once labels have been applied, go to symbology tab and quantities. And previously we uh, selected graduated color. This time select graduated symbols and select the population. 2000 and notice that the size of the symbol will be based upon the num number of people living in that city. Once you apply you can see that the size of the symbol depends upon the population of the city and only the major cities that we selected are shown in the map. So in this tutorial we talked about um, attribute table and how to select features based upon 
the attributes. You also learn how to create a new layer from the selected features and so learn how to uh, create symbols based upon a certain property of the attributes. In a previous tutorial we learned how to save the whole map but we can also save uh, a single layer from a map. So if you right click the new layer um, you will see uh, an option called save as layer file. Click that, give the name to the file and save it. For example I gave it the name cities greater than half million and we save it. Now if you go to catalog and if I press F5 it will be refreshed and you can see that the new layer appears in this list. The previous map that we prepared is also in this list. One uh, last point about uh, selection. You, ca you have a menu item uh, called selection and you can select by attributes as well as select by location. In case of select by location you can also uh, use the menu items from the navigation bar. For example go back to the cities layer uh, and pull down select by rectangle and see what happens when you drag a triangle a rectangle similarly you can try by a circle and there are other similar options that you can use and in order to clear any selection you can always go to clear selected features and that would clear any selections that you have made this concludes this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll talk about uh, different data frames and putting multiple maps on uh, a, a, in a given single printout.